How do you recover after a major physical injury? You've always been an athlete, always been in great shape. You take pride in the fact that you've never even broken a bone. But then something happens and you end up with a major injury that really messes with your head. Man, now I can't be who I wanted to be. Now I have this injury in my past. I have this, this black mark on my record. Well, what you have to do is stop your pity party and get up every morning and say, I am blessed. When I was only 20 years old, I had a major injury that I thought might even kill me. I wasn't expecting it. I was super young into running, exercising. My appendix ruptured and I almost died. To this day, I still have a scar on my stomach that is almost 10 inches long. I thought my athletic career was over. I will never be able to touch the basketball rim or maybe even dunk the basketball one day. I could have just sat around and given up on my dreams. And it was tough, I'm telling you. It took me months to recover. About a year later, I began to play basketball, run, get back into shape. And only four or five years after that major injury, I got into weight training, natural bodybuilding, and I got into the best shape of my life to the point that I considered competing for the natural bodybuilding competition here in Los Angeles. How did I do that? Every morning, I looked at my injury and I said, I am blessed. Every morning I would wake up and say, thank you, God. I am blessed. I am blessed that I didn't die. I am blessed that I had my family near me to support me. I am blessed that I had a great doctor. I am blessed that I had enough to get me through all the medical bills. I am blessed. So you now might be at a place where you're a young man, a young woman. You have dreams of playing professional sports of being a top athlete, just of being in shape, keeping that pride of being a healthy individual. You have a choice to make. Are you going to give in to the pity party or are you going to say, I am blessed? The Bible says that though there is pain in the night, gozo comes in the morning. That though there's pain in the night, joy comes in the morning. You know, when I had that horrible appendectomy that I thought I was going to die, that definitely was the pain in the night. Literally, I was in pain. But joy came in the morning, not the next day, not even in a few weeks, but eventually joy came back. But the choice was up here. I had to choose to say, I am blessed. Thank you for all that you have given me. And so if you are injured right now, you have something physically that has slowed you down and it's messing with your head, it's bringing anxiety and depression into your, into your mind, I wanna encourage you. I'm gonna give you three tips. First of all, give yourself a deadline for your pity party. So let's say today is Friday. Give yourself till Monday. You can complain, you can be upset, you can be mad, you can blame yourself, you can tell your doctor how you just can't believe that this happened to you, but you only have three days. Give yourself a deadline. Number two is every morning when you wanna say, oh man, I can't believe this happened, and you wanna complain, I want you to say, look up and say, I am blessed. Your mind says, man, you'll never be able to play that sport again. You look up and you say, I am blessed. When you say, oh, your friends are gonna make fun of you now, or 
all your dreams of that scholarship or of being a, a healthy individual and having a perfect body, forget it. I want you to say, I am blessed. And then third, I want you to know that God has a purpose for your injury. And I want you to remember that there is a amazing purpose for your life. That this injury actually is here for a reason. You know the old saying, what doesn't kill you, what? Makes you stronger. When I was bodybuilding and training with heavy weights, I would always read that famous saying at the gym that said, no pain, no gain. And some of that is true and some of that isn't. But what is true is that your pain has a purpose. After my injury of my appendectomy and lifting weights and being in the best shape of my life, now I have the privilege of helping young men and women to get in shape, to not give up on their dreams. I have found my purpose, which is to motivate other people that are going through the same thing I went through when I was a young man. There is a purpose to your pain. You have no idea what God is going to do in your life in the future through this challenge. But you have to stop that pity party. Keep saying, I am blessed. And remember, there's a purpose for your pain. Don't give up. Make sure that you stay focused on your goals. And I declare and I guarantee that in due time, you're going to have your dreams come true. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, leave me a comment below, hit that bell notification so you can be notified of every time I post these videos. Thank you for being here. My name is David Trigg, the Goso Man, here on Goso TV. Goso, by the way, means joy in Spanish. Thanks for being here. Leave me a comment below. Here's a question for the, for the day. What physical ailment are you going through now? And second, if you have been through something in the past, how did you overcome it? Leave a comment below. Let's interact. Let's keep the conversation going. Thanks for being here, and I will see you next time.